This film is a delightful kind of trash, unabashed in its nature, and it gleefully disregards the conventions of good taste to push mainstream cinema boundaries. The film masterfully portrays toxicity without glorification. The protagonist is deliberately unlikable, isolated even within the story, yet his journey remains captivating. Imagine Manmohan Desai's take on The Godfather, infused with the influences of Ram Gopal Verma, Anurag Kashyap, and a hint of wild anime. This results in a darkly humorous rendition, reminiscent of the narrative approach in The Wolf of Wall Street. The filmmaker remains true to the theme, prioritizing character exploration over rapid plot progression, a refreshing change from the fast-paced, content-driven style of modern cinema. However, the film isn't without flaws. Director Sandeep Reddy Vanga's insistence on certain scenes and dialogues intended to shock or respond to critics sometimes feels out of place, but there's potential for growth and Vanga is on track to become a significant cinematic voice. Ranbir Kapoor's portrayal of Vijay continues Hindi cinema's tradition of complex protagonists akin to Devdas and Raj Kapoor's Rajan in Andaz. But unlike its predecessors, this film critiques current societal norms mirroring the aggression and intolerance seen in contemporary media and culture. Vijay embodies the Hindutva ideal of an angry young man. He's unchanging throughout the film, a wealthy, detached figure, akin to a lotus in a muddy pond. His character represents the ID, dismissing political correctness, and embodies the traits of a Hindutva fascist leader. Vanga creates a world that parallels reality yet operates on its own rules. The setting is fantastical, only accessible to the ultra-rich and filled with anomalies like unaddressed violence and peculiar plot elements like miraculous healings. Kapoor convincingly plays this angry young man channeling Sanjay Dutt. Anil Kapoor and Bobby Dale support with significant but underutilized roles, highlighting a narrative that could benefit from more focus on secondary characters, especially women. Overall, the film is a fantastic watch, blending dark comedy with intense themes it's a film likely to be more appreciated in the future.